Carro. Hello my Aquarian friends, Guiding Halo here. This is going to be your money finance career reading for the month of June. We're already coming up inwards in June. Can you believe that? There's going to be some change throughout this time. Fast forward movement, things getting on, onward and upward. Let's find out what's coming in for you guys, for my Aquarian friends. In June, money finance and career. The power of creativity, recognition for high quality work, being a team player, Nine of Pentacles, enjoying the little things in life, so you're feeling very grounded. Enjoying the little things in life, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. Move this down just a little bit. All right. Well, that's even for all of y'all. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. Any finance and career for my Aquarians? Creative endeavors. Someone may be pitching an idea to somebody. Um, kind of hoping to get them started moving in a direction where one of their dreams is fulfilled. It's like there's something within you that needs to come out and about. The only way to do it is to get help. Or it's almost like maybe someone's trying to hitch a ride on your coattails. You got something planned, they want in on it, or vice versa. You want in on whatever else someone's got planned. But someone could be pitching an idea or pitching some, maybe you're a contractor and you're pitching some blueprints to somebody or something. Using creative solutions and creative ideas to get yourself there. I feel as though you're feeling apprehensive. If someone's coming to you, you're apprehensive about this. You're not sure if you can trust them. Uh, you feel possibly like you might want to just give up on it, not maybe pitch your idea. Take it as it resonates. Because maybe you don't trust other people, possibly due to the past, how you've been treated in the past. Maybe when you were younger, there's something swelling or welling up within you that's funny welling up within you uh this could be something a soulmate or a significant other wants to join you in and you may not want them to my aquarian friends you could be feeling leery about a creative solution because of a soulmate's talking about it or their opinion someone handing you god handing you something god using someone to hand you something and you saying no it's almost like you're bored with it tower we'll pull clarifiers on all of this here in a minute so enjoying life's little luxury spending quiet time alone successful self-employment if this is what you're after and trying to go into self-employment it will work out very well i feel an offer is coming in for you or a new start it's gonna blow your mind actually i feel at how well it goes yeah look at that wow the magician as above so below it's already been created here uh created in the ether so now it shall be created here it's a huge opportunity from the divine to step into your power my aquarian friends i feel as though some of you might be dealing with the gemini because i was just thinking about gemini it's almost said gemini Challenging information coming in. So, someone's got something to say about your victory, which grounds the reading. Someone's got something to say about your victory, which grounds the reading. And what crowns the reading? See, taking from the top of the deck is crown. Bottom of the deck is ground. So, we have the devil here. And sometimes I just shuffle. So, there's that too. Toxic, there's a victory here with this communication that comes in. What's crowning the reading, I believe, is leaving toxic ties behind. There's something for you about leaving toxicity behind, whether it's lack of belief in yourself, whether it's uh, 
being toxically tied to the past because this happened in one way and this happened to another thing. And so now it's interrupting my idea of how I move forward. Someone also could be using toxic means for the form of manipulation. When I get a sword next to the, the magician, it's kind of like coming out strong with the sword first, speaking the truth in order to cut away something because it's in the way of your new start financially. That's how I feel about that. Now tell me about the angelic advice here. New romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. It very well could be that you're coming into soul contract with somebody in the work environment in a creative solution in something. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean you're single. This could mean that you're having reignited passion in your existing relationship because you're trying to work. Uh, you're trying to work together, maybe an opportunity to work together. But I think somebody here has had bad uh, juju with that in the past <laughs> there's they're very concerned about that someone getting having a say in their world it could very well be control energy uh someone feeling like there's narcissistic energy on top of the situation it could be trying to protect a significant other from that as well Spend time alone in nature meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. So there's definitely a need for a positive perspective here. It feels as though your significant other or someone in your life that you care about, even a kindred spirit at work you get along well with, is like uh, you're not seeing the positive in the situation that they're bringing forward at this moment due to their creativity and their excitement and all that sort of thing. So let's get some clarifiers, shall we? Whoa, dropping cards everywhere. Well, I got victory, I got two of cups and the ace of swords. The ace of swords upright, victory downwards and the two of cups downwards. See what I'm saying? The truth using sword energy to come in and cut out something will be a lack in victory for your relationship, but nonetheless, it will still be your truth. So this may be a lack in relationship in a victory at work because you couldn't come together with a kindred, in a kindred partnership. Perhaps there's some sort of toxic tie to needing to be above somebody else. To be the one in charge, perhaps. All right. Tell me about this toxicity up here. Toxicity in a relationship or marriage. Uh, I almost feel as though someone doesn't want to have something discovered about them. But it coming out is absolutely a sign, need for um, something for celebration. Perhaps someone's trying to let go of an addiction of some sort. And there will be a celebration around it. You have the support of your significant other. Someone very well may decide, I was just going to say, to let go of an addiction forever. It's almost like it's very good energy for that right now with the eclipse coming up here. And then the months after, someone may decide to give up an addiction. Spend time alone in nature meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help comfort, help you gain a positive perspective. We have the nine of cups. So a wish granted comes out of you realizing that this is very positive, whatever this is. Tell me about the ace of pentacles. We have something welling up within you to create a brand new beginning, a new start. Ace of pentacles comes in. It's almost like as you deal with what's in the underbelly of your life the hard things that's when the financial reward comes tell me about the magician the three of wands broadening your horizons being the creator and bringing in a new start tell me about the swords knight of swords communication coming in quick yeah feeling a little apprehensive about this communication coming in quick Tell me about victory. You're going to be sitting pretty in your finances. King of Pentacles, building a solid foundation for your life. You have a solid foundation. I feel like the, the divine previously has taken you on a bit of a detour or some frustrating times. Tell 
tell me about this four of cups and the six of cups which equals the ten of cups the queen of cups so you're dealing with someone who's incredibly intuitive maybe that's you psychic insight able to to build and create out of a place of unconditional love perhaps there's somebody who's rather psychic around you very grounded foundationally but psychically in tune to what's going on i think the things that are happening around the situation very well affect them emotionally at a massive rate tell me about nine of wands and this one so we have communication coming in there's an ingenious idea about how to start a project or something i don't know if you're having it though i feel as though you're not having it you're very leery about trusting anybody who comes in with their own ideas. Perhaps that's a toxic tie that you learned in the home front. Tell me about this uh, when you were a child, possibly. Tell me about this more, please. We have a toxic tie, a celebration. We have a commitment, marriage, long-term something. A long-term goal, a long-term spiritually held belief, possibly about marriage. It's some sort of toxicity that's in your life that creates a stalemate is how I feel. There will be celebration around this. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy matching the King of Pentacles energy. So you very well could have two of these people in your world. Somebody having a celebration. Uh over something to do with marriage, but there's some sort of toxicity within it. Someone could be making a decision about a relationship and whether to move it to the next step. It could also be a contract. Marrying somebody with a contract, it's almost like, it's like whatever you're doing, it's your baby, you know? And there will be celebration, but there is definitely some sort of control issue around what's going on in the home or at work or whatever it is you're building. And you don't like it. I tell you what, you don't like it. Either that, it could be that you're trying to control the situation. Be careful how you do that because it could come out, you know, in a negative way. There is cause for celebration here, but the apprehension level is off the charts. All right. Energy from the divine to keep in mind this month as you move forward. Energy from the divine to keep in mind in June for my Aquarian friends. Love. Listen to your heart. Embrace what makes you happy. There are one million reasons to love. So your relationships are definitely coming in and affecting your financial situation. I wonder if there's a relationship where someone's uh, their significant others in control of the money or something like that. And there's some sort of addiction that needs to be overcome so that the money doesn't uh, disperse in the wrong way or something like that. That's just for some, not for all. But there is a lot of love here. It's a, There's even a love for what it is you want to do in this life, what it is you want to create. So keep that in mind as well. I love you guys. Blessings to you.